Welcome to my channel, Outside the Levees. I'm Jared Serenay, and today I'm fishing for topwater bass with my brother-in-law Aaron and our buddy Jeff. These fish were fired up chasing bait, and we took full advantage of it. Then we went back to the house to clean our fish, and I cooked them up in a delicious Mexican-inspired dish. Now let's get it started. You got that trolling motor, Jared? Yeah. Oh, shit! First cast. Jesus. Yeah, I'm First cast, baby! Dude, <laughs> you got that top water on? Yeah, I got that little popper, boy. That's what it is. Got that little popper, dog. Got that little popper, baby. Alright, first one, he's a little small. I'm not here to show y'all how to catch five pounders. I'm here to get food. Damn, okay. Boom. Oh, Damn. dude. Did you really grab it? Did you really grab it? <laughs> Did you really grab it? Yeah. You grabbed it out the water? Yeah. It's turning on. It just came right oh, out of my no. pocket, dude. <laughs> it popped out my pocket. Oh, it felt good. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you had got that on the GoPro. It was hilarious. Dude, I can't believe you got it. Oh my god. Don't play that. Don't play that, bro. Uh-uh. Oh, shut up. Is it working? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> wow. Hell yeah. Alright. Alright. Okay. Alright. Dude, it just fell out my back pocket. <laughs> All right, I'm with it. I'm with it. Saving the phone. Learned a valuable lesson. Just keep your phone in dry storage. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. Right, is it in focus? Yeah, back at that sun right there. Do I need to go north side? I will right, we'll come switch. We're gonna have to do the trolley motor. All right. Yes, yeah, just one of them days, y'all. Nothing was going right. My GoPro broke. Uh, trolling motor battery is not what we thought it was. But we found a pond with some redfish, and we're gonna try and turn it around. Get us a day going. Let's see what we can do. All right, y'all. We have had quite the morning. Uh, caught a little bass. Very first cast. A lot of times, that's a bad thing. Look at the redfish right there, y'all. Right there, coming to the boat. Redfish right there. You see the swirl he just made? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that wasn't bad. But yeah, we've had a terrible morning so far. Uh, we wanted to catch a bunch of bass. Honestly, I, I didn't intend on coming red fishing. So we came in this pond to still try to find some bass, and I caught a red fish. Somebody stopped recording on accident. And, uh, but now we've seen a bunch of fish, so I guess we'll switch over to a sight fishing. It's good to see all this grass, man. A lot of places don't have this grass right now. So the reds won't be, unless there was enough water to really be over this, the reds won't be in this thick, thick stuff. But as you get a little more depth and the grass breaks up, that's where we should start seeing them. <laughs> oh, there he goes. No, that's Molly. We should start seeing them here. See, like you got a little bit more water over the grass now. This is what they like. We're just gonna keep the rain out the lens too. trying y'all we're trying it ain't really happening for us now we got a little rain ah, i don't know y'all i just don't know we came back to spot a and we caught three fish like 
back to back to back. Let's see if they're still ready to bite or not. Alright, I'm probably gonna have to get that camera out the rain, dude. I can't take no chances. Let me see. Got another one, y'all. We're starting to figure a little something out. They starting to turn on. I don't know if the cloud cover got them going, but we're getting a few. They just little eating sized bass. That's all we really came to target today. You can get 10 of these a person. So I figure if we each get 10, it's a good, good little mess of fish. There's somebody driving in there. <laughs> Zoomed in on your face when you did that. Come on, they didn't stop. They didn't just stop for no reason. No, they're still here. I'm saying we, I don't know if they could even just, oh, right here by the boat. Right here by the boat, baby. That's keep, right? That'll keep. Right here by the boat. It's so random, man. Like, mm -hmm. oh, it's a good one, too. It's a nice one. Get him, Jeff. On the top water, son, in the middle of the day. How about that? Get him in here, yeah? Not as big as I originally thought, but. Oh, 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 oh man. Definitely two for two. Bro, they fall along this wall. I know. Well, I'm going to get us a little more to the middle so we could throw uh, throw on the schools in the middle, but also still throw in the wall because I'm not getting any bites off that wall. What's it, that? Just. Top water's a ticket. This is yeah, Jeff's third thing. fish in a sec. Top water is definitely the ticket. All right, y'all, this is one of them days where it's just a big roundabout. We started here probably around 6.30 this morning. I caught a fish my very first cast. I believe we got some of that on the GoPro. Then it just died. Like nothing, not another, like just dead. So I said, all right, let's go find some moving water. We went and found some moving water. Didn't get a bite there. Throughout the process of that, the trolling motor battery died. So then we're kind of like just stuck fishing without a trolling motor. We get into a pond, it's got a bunch of redfish. For whatever reason, we couldn't like stay on the schools of redfish in the pond. Now we're back at the beginning spot. And what we came for has actually happened later in the day. I don't know why. Uh, maybe if y'all know bass better than me, you can explain it. I think it has a lot to do with all this cloud cover. When we came this morning, it was kind of like bright and, you know, maybe those fish were just who knows, you know, uh, there actually was more tide this morning too, which is interesting. But now we got cloud cover and they're biting top waters and it's like almost noon. So we're just going to sit here and enjoy this because when you find schools of fish like this that you can catch on top water, it doesn't matter the species. It doesn't matter the size. Now I'll tell you who probably won't be here, Mr. Shoe Pick. For whatever reason, this little freshwater area, we don't catch a lot of shoe pick. But if you like shoe pick and you want to get a shirt, Go check out my merch store right below the video. You'll see the merch grid. Click any one of those items that will take you to the store. Or you could go into the description. I've got the merch link there as well. Like they went deeper on us. Yep. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Jeffrey got him one. Go ahead, Jeffrey. He's a little baby. It's all right. That's all right. When you think you know everything, you really don't. That's a good point. These fish do what they want. Probably a really good bite in the evening. Back the boat. Hold on, I'm focused on top water. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, boy! He's a baby. My dude is wearing them out at the 8 inch range. Aggressive little fish, boy. Uh-oh. 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 Look who it is. Look who came to play. Look who came to play. 
Keep Where's he at? What you think? No. What are you doing? You feed it to him. Yeah. Yeah, see if he'll eat it. Hold on, hold it, hold it, hold it up. Hold it by the mouth and dangle it. Wow. You, here, look. Hold it by the lip and <laughs> let it up. We were trying to give you food, bro. Let's keep him, baby, huh? You keep him? Nah, I'll throw that fish back. <laughs> I want to see you get fed to the alligator, though. Yeah, me too. You throw him in and get him back. He had his chance. All right, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a school right here. Yep, yep, go into it. Get it, Jeff, get it, Jeff. Yep, right there. Jeff's about to get him. He threw right into the school just now. I knew it. You threw right into the school. That's what I've been wanting to happen. It's fun on this light tackle, huh? Yeah, dude. Huh. That one might actually keep. Little bassy bass. Yeah, we'll keep him. He's good. There he is. Got him. Oh, he's decent. Yeah, he is. Get him. Get him. I'll get him. I'll get him. <laughs> Want to yeah, you're right. All right, y'all. We've been seeing the school really just bust and blow up all through here. We were fishing over there and catching a good bit. I mean, you know, almost every few casts. But we, the school's really just been running. I'm, I'm assuming they're kind of running all through here. So now we're right where they were. Ah, see, he's already getting. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Watch your language. He got it that time, Jeff. <sighs> that <Dead> gum. <laughs> got one? Brother-in-law got him one. Oh, that's a good one, bro. Make sure you get that one in. Make sure you get that in. That might be one of the better ones on the day. That might be the best one on the day. That is. That's the best one on the day, bro. Yeah, Brother-in-law got him. That's the best one on the day, son. Look at you, boy. Very nice one, boy. Not quality, not quantity, baby. Boy, that's a, got it. Got you a little one pounder, one and a half pounder, huh? Like that? I like that. I do like Pretty. that. Pretty. Yeah, he's right on the wall, Jeff. Pretty boy. Yeah, get back to your side. Get back to. Oh, Jeff got him one. Jeff got him one. Oh, nice one. Oh, nice one, Jeff. He might keep though. He's acting like a key. Oh yeah, that's a good one, Jeff. Good keeper. Oh, they better on this side, y'all. They a little bit better on this side. Yeah. They a little bit better on this side, bro. That's a good one. That's the set. Second good one from this side. They're getting better now. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> All right, y'all. Got another one, baby. Just keep getting keepers. They're getting nicer. Yeah, they got some nicer ones on this side. Uh... Sure. Look at that. That's unreal. Copy good.
Gimme. He said, gimme. I'm hungry. He said, gimme. Heading to the box, y'all. There he is. There he is, right by the book. Right by the book. Right by the book. Heading to the box. There you go. Right by the book. It's, it seems like most of the bikes are coming here now. Right now, hey. oh, look at Jeffrey, boy. Boy, they like that cloud cover. Man, they like that cloud cover. It's a good one. Stay with Jess. Don't come to mine. All right, well, it was just one of them type of days where you make the big loop, you come back to where you started, and it all works out. I did not think it was going to. I was starting to be a negative Nancy. I had pretty much given up. I'll be perfectly honest. I said, well, let's you know, go back to where we started, um, and they were here. I think when we got here, there was a good bit of cloud cover. It actually rained a little bit, and they were biting, and then we saw them chasing, and it just like seemed like it got progressively even better and now we're here like almost at noon close to lunchtime and it's finally dying off but i mean to have a top water bite for that long throughout the day is completely awesome like i said i don't care what species it is for fish to be blowing it up on top water all day don't get no better than that so we're gonna get this boat out and uh tonight we'll do some cooking all right what you think Giacomo? good show me your shirt what you want to tell them about that shirt? <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's that's today's haul. Not too bad, you know, considering the way things started out. I will take that every single time. Um, and we tried to do the right thing and put the real little ones back. We didn't catch any three, four pounders, which we'd have put back as well. But hey, man, that's a good meal right there. I'm going to show y'all what we caught them on. This one here, this this top water here. That's the Strike King kvd topwater splasher that was the first one that we started throwing to realize okay they are biting top waters i'll show you all the package from that one that's the package there so yeah it's called the kvd splash topwater popper that right there is the sexy shad color that's called sexy shad and basically you could kind of uh if you're not familiar with this style you can kind of see there it's a little bit concave and that displaces water popping that on top of the water and it's constantly displacing water and it makes that bloop, bloop. it makes that noise which 
as you saw from the footage, those fish were chasing bait, making that same noise. The other one we used, this one's made by Live Target. It's the same thing. Only cool thing about this one is it's made to look like a few fish. So I don't know if you can kind of see that, but this one's called the Bait Ball Topwater Popper by Live Target. And it, you see how it looks like a couple fish together? So that's what was actually going on today. Those bass were chasing larger groups of bait like this and they were splashing and spraying on top of the water. So this really mimics it. And I thought this one displaced more water, I'll be honest. This one seemed to be louder. It seemed to displace more water. It's got more color going on. I thought this one did just a little bit better. I'd recommend them both. I'm not even sure if this is still in production or not, but I'd recommend both of them if they're both still in production. But this one just seemed to do a little bit better. And we were throwing super, super light gear today. I knew these fish were gonna average a smaller size, so I didn't mind throwing light gear. Actually, this is uh, what we were throwing here. Little bitty crappie. This is this is for fishing crappie with. Wally Marshall came up with these. This is a crappie rod and reel. I think that's like 10 pound mono. You know, this was really super light stuff, but that helps you cast those smaller poppers further too. That's what we were catching them on. Now we're gonna go clean them up because, you know, cooking comes next. So brother-in-law got these red, white, and blueberry lemonade natty lights, boy. They're good. That's like uptown natty right there. I don't know if that even, if you could even count that as natty. I'm gonna yeah. go with the electric knife. Now on the smaller ones, I probably like to use the regular knife. You can cut through the small ones pretty quick with electric. Land. I mean, heck, that's about as much meat as you get off of a crappie, off of a 13 inch crappie, 14 inch crappie. Ain't nothing wrong with keeping them small bass. I want to see what they've been eating though. That's what I want to see what they were blowing up on in there. All right, so. No, it's a fish. So. A small fish. That's what they were eating on. That's that they were blowing up on schools of these bait fish. I, I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna try to act like I know what it is. Could be some type of shad. If y'all know what that is, let me know. But they were blowing up on schools of this. All right. So that's the fillet I was able to get off of like probably a 10 inch fish right there. I mean, that's similar to what you're gonna get off of a panfish. There's nothing wrong with keeping them little bass. Oh, they're cute. Jack, should we keep these and set some crab traps? Yeah. All right, the man spoke. That's what's gotta happen. My man loves his crabs. Let's see what this one's been eating. Oh, snake. snake. Oh, oh no way. Yeah. All right, y'all. You got head. a snake on that's, top of the water. That's the new bait, man. That's you know, we always joke that if a largemouth bass was, you know, as big as a shark, we'd all be in trouble. They're eating snakes. A little bitty snake was That's swimming on top of the water. Large mouth bass got that butt, buddy. How about that, y'all? Yeah. We can all if bass were big, we'd all be in trouble. I would not, I wouldn't swim. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, well, hell, that was about as good as a bass fishing trip's gonna get as far as catching numbers, as far as excitement. Shout out to my brother-in-law, Aaron. Love you, man. Shout out to Jeff. Glad you had a good time, buddy. Today I'm rocking the Bayou Podna shirt. This is the one with the catfish and the alligator. Actually, my son Jack helped me come up with the concept for the shirt. So if y'all want to support me and support Jack and support what we do here at Outside the Levees, go get you some merch. But now it's time to cook these delicious bass. I'm gonna blacken these bass. This will be another sort of like Mexi style dish. I'm gonna use some fajita seasoning and some chili powder on the fish. Blacken them real good with some butter in the pan, real hot. Then we're just gonna stir fry some rice and put it over that. Real simple, real easy. This will be a good one for when you get home from fishing. You wanna eat right then and there. Throw this together real quick. Go ahead and spread some melted butter on both sides of your fish. Dust your fish with a fajita seasoning. Then cover it in a good chili powder. Do the same to both sides. Get a cast iron or a griddle real hot and start dropping your fish in. This is how you get that good blackened effect. I go about three minutes on the first side, then two minutes on the other. When they done, go ahead and get them out. Drop in some oil and then some chopped onions. 
Keep stirring constantly to keep them from burning at this high heat. Add some cooked rice and make sure it's cold. Stir that up real good for a few minutes. Cut off your heat and start dropping in some cojita cheese. Stir that up. Finally, drop in some chopped cilantro and stir that up too. Put some of your rice down on a plate and drop your fish on top. Now to top it off, I'm using some of my homemade fig and roasted tomatillo salsa, but you use whatever salsa you like. Garnish it with cilantro and there it is, y'all. A quick, healthy meal that works on them bass. Yeah, you right. All right, y'all, huh? Look at that. How about that for some bass, huh? Go catch them little bass, get you some top waters. Go have fun, man. Summertime is here. Great time to be out on the water. Now you've seen how to cook them, let's taste them. Got to get some of my salsa. I'm going to show y'all how to make that salsa one day. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm. It don't always have to be about fried fish, y'all. Don't be afraid to get creative. Mm. Son. You know what to do now. You got to subscribe. You want to see more of this type of stuff? You got to subscribe. You got to click the bell down below so you know we put out new ones. We'll see y'all soon.